Next fundamental, okay? So we had our first one. Here's the second one, okay? What's the number one word that people love to hear more than anything? Now, a lot of you probably already know it, but you'll be amazed that I'll be sitting in an audience. And again, folks, I keep referencing this just to kind of let you know that, no, it's not about tooting my own horn. It's not. It's about going, hey, over 17 years, I've probably asked over 200,000 people this question. Every time in front of an audience, I go, what's the number one word that people love to hear more than anything? And it's less than 2% of the entire audience usually knows it. I'll usually make a joke. I'll go, hey, here's 100 bucks if you know the answer. Or I'll say, would you bet your salary that you know the answer to that question? And most people say, they either say the word yes, or they say love or something like that, which is cool, it's fine, but the number one word that people love to hear more than anything is their own name. Okay, now when I say this, of course, when I say this even on my CDs, which I'm funny, I'm even saying the word CD right now, because a lot of my people, a lot of people, depending on the program you're on right now, you either got to copy the CD or not. Okay, but I did, you know, and I did that, I did that 16 years ago called What to Say and How to Say It. But what I will tell you is that um, I say it on there as well. So yeah, there's a little bit that's redundant if you got the CD and you're listening to and hear the same thing. But what I will tell you is this. The number one word that people love to hear is their own name. Well, that doesn't mean that if you're talking to somebody who's named Bob, it's not like, hey, Bob, how's it going, Bob? Will you buy my product, Bob? I mean, don't be an idiot. You just don't keep saying their name like you're going to hit. It's not the Jedi mind trick from Star Wars. You're going to hypnotize the guy or the lady to say, taking your product. But what I will tell you, especially when people see me do the live phone calls, some of the things that I'll do is that I'll actually say, hey, you know, I'll say, hey, can you send me to so-and-so's office? And if they say, I'm sorry, who are you? I'll go, oh, I'm sorry, my name's John Costigan, and I never even asked you your name. And you know what's funny? I, that's even a little trick I'll teach you. I never say, I'm sorry, what's your name? I usually go, oh, I'm sorry, I'm John Costigan, and I never even asked you your name. Like, I can't believe how rude I am. And I just stop talking. You know what happens? They usually fill it in. When they do, I'll just go, hey, hey, Mary, how are you? Good, how are you? Great. Hey, if you have a second and need some help, can you please forward me on to so-and-so's office? We'd like to set up a high-level strategic conversation. Thanks. You know, or whatever I may say. And then they'll be like, great, hang on. And they may give me some resistance. And I'll show you how to get by that when you get to the gatekeeper section. But I will let you know that when people watch me do this, I definitely use his or her name. It could be Mary, could be Stan. I don't care who it is. But I'll definitely say it once or twice within the conversation. I might go, hey, hey, one last question here, Mary, before you let me go. I know that you I know that you're going to send me over to you know I know that Michelle is the president and Bob though is the CIO or Bob's whoever. Um, I know usually that level's pretty pretty busy because they have a C or a V in front of their name. Hey, you know if if he's kind of difficult to get a hold of, do you know who like a great second lieutenant or a, or a next level underneath them? Uh, you know if you can help me out with that, Mary, that'd be great. So I'll say her name again, and you'll be amazed, you guys, how much that that works and and I'm telling you I've seen this for so many years my audience is like oh my gosh these people are just giving him information why because I'm using these tiny little tips and tricks and techniques okay and one of them is their own name one last thing I'll tell you I have a bar that's across the street from where I live and I remember walking in there and I saw the manager and he was working behind the bar and it's an Irish pub right over here and I was watching what they were doing and, and I got to know the gentleman since I've been living here 20 plus years. And I said, hey, Sam, I go, you might want to change this up a little bit. He's like, what do you mean? I go, listen, people love to hear their own name. Kind of like the show that was really popular years ago called Cheers. You know, when Norm walked in, everyone was like, Norm, the whole bar would always go, Norm. Well, so what happens is I said, hey, the next person that comes in, I said, just, you know, if you don't know them, just go, hey, what do you have? And if they go, whatever they ask for, you get it. Then when you go get it, when you come back, while you're giving it to them, say, hey, by the way, my name is Sam, and what's yours? And, or just go, hey, my name's Sam, and just say that, because I said, maybe they don't want to give out their names. So just go, hey, my name is Sam. Just like the te technique I showed you on the phone. I just go, I'm sorry, my name is Sam. And you stop right there, and then they usually go, oh, my name's you know, Bob or Mary, whoever it is, right? And they go, okay, hey, Bob, you know, hey, Mary, how, how are you? Good. So what happens is Sam then leaves, okay? And then he takes a little piece of paper and he folds it and he writes Sam on it, okay? And then he turns it towards them so they could see it. Because how many times does somebody give you your, their, your, their name and you forget it 10 seconds later? Well, meanwhile, Sam, he's looking at Bob or Mary, whatever the name is, right? So let's pretend Sam walking away and he comes back, you know, 10 minutes later and he just goes, uh, hey, Bob, want another drink? Or, hey, Mary, want another, want, another, want another drink? And it's so funny. He's told me, he goes, John, this is amazing how many more times people will take another drink just because I said their name. He goes, and I got some usual customers in here where they may not get a second drink and I notice they sometimes do now. I said, so listen, it doesn't work all the time, you guys, but I'm telling you, people love to hear their own name. And that's a perfect example in real world. 
And by the way, it's another example of what's going to happen to you when you start to apply this in your business life. Get their name, try to use it. People feel more comfortable when you use their name and they start to open up more and reveal more and allows you to build a better connection and build trust. So just remember, the number one word that people love to hear, their own name. So if I ever now do this bet to you in front of an audience, you can raise your hand and say, yeah, I would bet my salary I know the answer. It's your own name.